Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you the building and planting of a raised garden bed. This method of build makes site preparation and the control of weed growth extremely easy. Site preparation, mow your grass extremely low and save newspapers and cardboard. This will be used to eradicate the weeds and grass. My raised bed will be 4 foot by 8 foot in length and 8 inches deep. I'm using 2 by 8 untreated lumber and I'm screwing the corners together and I'm using filler blocks to add additional strength since this will be in the ground for a number of years. Once the frame is together and setting in its site, I'm going to do the preparation of the ground with newspapers and cardboard. First, the layer of newspapers is laid on the ground. And I'm going to lay this in a heavy mat and extend the papers about two feet around the perimeter of where the frame will be laying. This area that will be extended beyond the perimeter of the grow bed will allow me to lay mulch and make a walkway around the grow bed. After the newspapers are laid down, then I'm laying a heavy mat of cardboard. The addition of the cardboard will help keep the newspaper in place while I'm filling the frame with the grow medium and also it will make a tough barrier for any weeds or grass to come up through. The grow bed frame is moved into its permanent position and ready to be filled with the growing soil. The outer perimeter is first covered with its mulch and this gives me the walkway uh, around the grow frame. Now I'm going to fill the frame with rotted compost, manure, and a sandy soil. The grow bed is filled to its max and even mounded up over because there will be a lot of settling with the loose fill. Here my sweetgrass just came in the mail and uh, this is how it's packaged and I got about six of these packages it's still very moist and uh, we're gonna get this in the ground the uh, grow bed is prepped about a week ahead of time and I've been pulling out any of the weeds that came up from the seed, uh, wild seeds. And uh, I'm using a grow bed because uh, what can kill sweet grass is uh, of course herbicides. Other grasses are competitive. So, um, and weeds. So this is uh, going to give good drainage. It can, uh, die from uh, being too wet or being too dry. You always have to keep it real moist. So I'm going to plant these. They grow in clumps and uh, they spread by the rhizomes. And let me see how many are in here. Okay, there's six in here. So we're going to space these out. You need to have at least a foot in between, so I have more than that, and they will spread pretty good. So uh, I'm going to do these six clumps. And you need to plant them outside. Trying to grow sweet grass indoors is uh, a way to kill them, too. This 
soil that I'm planting it in is uh, well rotted manure, sand, sawdust, it's a compost. Sweet grass has to have cold weather in the winter. It has to go through the cycles or it won't survive. It has to go dormant and freeze. This is a very rich soil that I'm putting it in. It's well rotted manure. It's been uh, outside for a year in a pile, decomposing. So it was just loaded with worms, so I'm sure it's loaded with worm castings. That's it. We'll keep it wet. When you first plant it, you got to water it every day. And uh, it's been raining for about a week, so the soil is very wet right now. And because it's such a high organic matter, it will hold moisture a really long time so I think this is going to take off really well and I can control the weeds in this environment and once you get it established it can be evasive thanks for watching my friends bye bye